It's day 109, I think. Right, I've got parcel. So first of all, look, look at that sun. Hope it's shining where you are. I just feel like this morning, I can, I can potentially cope with having to get five fence panels mended and having both bathrooms decorated and sorting out the fact that the thermostat doesn't really work and neither does my TV remote control and just everything because sun and a blue sky. Box, reading glasses, my first ever pair of glasses. So I've never had an eye test until uh, back in December. Uh, I went to Specsavers on a Saturday in Ipswich. Good God, if you ever get the chance to do it, don't do it, is my advice. It was like, what was it like? Um, I think it's, I think it's probably what it's like uh, being sorted in immigration uh, when you're an asylum seeker. It was horrible and there wasn't any point. I, so I had an eye test and I also had an ear test and I did the extra bonus eye test a bit, which costs more and they do something with something it was never explained to me. Nothing was explained to me at no point. I mean, everyone was polite, everyone was friendly, but at no point did anybody actually say to me, right, okay, this is what your results are. I just got given a little bit of paper and handed to the next person and handed to the next person, handed to the next person and until the ultimate, you know, basically uh, the checkout where you buy some glasses. Well, I don't know if I need any glasses yet, mate. This is my first uh, eye test. I don't know. I'm coming to find things out. And I would have thought the part of going to a shop like Specsavers and having an eye test would be somebody explaining to you what your results of your test meant. But that didn't happen. So I left in disgust just as they were about to sell me some uh, glasses because you know it's like oh two for the price of one and prices start at 30 pounds yeah, but by the time you've got to the counter and they've added VAT and then they've told you oh yes but if you do a lot of screen time then there will be an added 35 pounds again on top of that for non-glare type glasses and I just thought oh, sod this so I left anyway very nice independent uh, opticians in uh, near where I live uh, advised me. I showed them my prescription and they actually explained to me what it meant. So thank you very much to that lovely lady. Um, and she said, just go online and spend five quid on a pair of reading glasses and just see if that solves the issue. The issue being that my eyes get really, really tired, probably because of all this stuff I do on my phone and my iPad and my computer and all the social media that I do. Um, uh, but, you know, I don't want to have to start wearing glasses for the rest of my life if that's not the issue. So this is my test. Not McQueen, G-Queen. Oh, it's a nice box. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? I feel like I've gone to Tiffany's. Oh, look, something from Tiffany's. How lovely. You must love me. Tell me what you think of these. Oh. They're shrink-wrapped to avoid tampering. Take my sticker off and then I'll show you. I couldn't have just bought a normal pair of glasses, could I? Kind of heartbroken that I've had to buy a pair of reading glasses at all. So I thought, well, if I'm doing it, I'm doing it. What do you think? <laughs> do you like them? <laughs> if you don't like them, I do have an alternative pair. So I want you to tell me, guys. So this is my, this is my G-Queens. I quite like them. Never mind, do I look nice? Can I see? I think so. Oh, I'm not reading anything, am I? The reading glasses have got to read something. Looking for my friend. Thank heavens the sausage was off. Hashtag looking for my friend. Well, I could have read that before. It's just a matter of whether it's better the longer I do it, whether my eyes feel better. Anyway, if you don't like those, what do you think? To these, it's my Sue Pollards. What do you reckon? I've got three. In three different shades. This is the sort of pinky, pinky purpley one, and then there's a greeny, uh, earthy tones one, and then there's a browny one as well. I thought I'd show you these. So, what do you reckon? These or G Queen? Please place your votes now, and I will see you tomorrow if I can still see, and we're all saved.